friends so today what we are going to do is we are going to do some painting and also practice naming the colors that we learned last week okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need the other half of paper so we cut a paper in two last week right so we are going to use the other half today uh, i'm keeping the uh, the line that we drew last week next to me so that if i need help with the colors it is there then what i need next is i need my crayons i need a paper towel or maybe a washcloth or something to wipe my brush okay i need to take out my watercolors i need a container with some water okay then what else do i need um yeah those are the things that we need okay so let's first uh take the crayons okay so let's take um before that let's quickly go over the colors the rainbow colors what color is this this is red orange yes guys you guys are right what color is this yellow green blue and purple so you guys know your colors right so now what we're going to do is we are not going to take any of these colors not these colors that we used here but we are going to use black okay so i'm going to uh we are going to draw a porcupine okay so first just like what we did last week we are going to start with the eyes so somewhere here i'm going to make the a circle a small circle i'm going to leave two or three finger space and make another circle so two circles right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make leave some space here and then here i'm going to make a big circle so a bigger than the eyes i'm going to color it completely now this is the nose and then i'm going to make a line can you see the line and then i'm going to make a rainbow small rainbow like that got it now i'm going to make a circle around this around the nose and the mouth so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my finger and practice drawing a circle around this uh so i use my right hand to draw so i'm using my right hand pointy finger if you use your left hand to draw or right you're going to use the pointy finger of your left hand and then make a circle so i'm going to make a circle around this with my right hand okay so now i did a few times now i know how to make the circle so i'm going to make the circle got it now now we are done maybe i can uh make the eyes a little bit darker so to make it darker what i do is i need to just press this down a little bit we are done using the crayon so i'm going to put the crayon back you guys have um thinner crayons right i'm big so i'm using a bigger one okay so you guys are going to put your crayons back and then now we are going to work with our watercolors so let's open this can you see the box on one side there is this thing that you can open it up with now i'm going to put this on this side and then i'm going to take the brush out so before we start let's talk about the brush so this brush has 
some hair on one side and there is something like this uh, and then there is a metal part right so where do you think which with what which with what part do you think we paint do we paint with this part do we dip the bottom of the brush this the tail of the brush in the color and then paint or do we uh, paint with the hairy part of the brush did you say the hairy part if you said hairy part you are right we usually don't paint with this side okay and so this is the brush part you should not mess this part okay um sometimes what i see kids do is they press this part too much and then this it will spoil the hair it's like the hair is a person just uh, imagine that the hair is a person and the uh, this brush person doesn't like getting his hair messy okay do you like getting your hair messy if you are like uh, you have just combed your hair and then uh, somebody comes and mess up your hair. Do you like that? No. So just like that, this person, this brush, Mr. Brush, doesn't like to get his hair messed up. So being his friend, you should see that nobody messes his hair. Okay. So take care of the uh, brushes hair see that nobody uh does this or uh, scrub with a brush things like that no another thing uh is this metal part this metal part we usually call it the danger part can you guess why it's called the danger part so if you put your hand in the danger part of the brush something is going to happen something bad any guesses yes if you put your hand here on the metal part of the brush you are too close to the paint so the you put the paint on the hairy part of the brush right and if you put your fingers on the metal part your fingers are in danger of getting paint on your fingers so we are not going to put our fingers on the danger part so this part is then there is a name for this part this part is where your hand goes so it is called the hand uh, the handle of the this is where you put your hand it's called the brushes hand okay so let's see uh, so you know where the, it's where your hand should go and you know how to hold the brush right you hold your brush just like you hold your pencil so should, do you hold the pencil this way oh, it will be difficult to draw or write uh, or paint this way no we don't do that do we hold the pencil this way it is also difficult to write and paint or draw like this so the best way is with your three fingers you're going to uh, hold it just above the the danger zone you'll hold it like this over here with the three fingers okay and the the tail of the brush can come out like that so now you know how to hold the brush right so let's see if we can paint with this no no paint is coming why the the reason is this our uh, colors are dry we need to uh we, it's like these colors are sleeping so we need to wake these colors how do we wake these colors let's try tickling these colors let's see if it wakes them up usually if somebody tickles me when i'm sleeping i will be wide awake but i don't think tickling is enough these uh these colors had been sleeping for a very long time so the next thing good thing would be like sprinkle some water on the colors has someone sprinkled water on you while you were sleeping to wake you up 
Has someone done that? So what, what I'm doing, I'm taking a drop of water, not much, maybe two drops. Can you see what I did? I'm just dipping my brush in water, taking two drops, putting in each color. I put one, two drops in red, two drops in yellow, two in green, because we are going to use all these colors. So that's why we are waking them all up, okay? In blue, and two drops in purple, okay? So then, still the colors are not up. So now, after putting some water, we are going to tickle the colors to wake them up. We are going to start with yellow, okay guys? So, my, look at my brush and look at the way I'm holding my brush. Hold the brush just like this. Keep your fingers on the yellow part of the brush, okay? And then I'm going to tickle the yellow color. So I'm like swirling, swirling my brush, the hairy part in yellow a few times, maybe 10 times. Hmm. I think now yellow is wide awake. So let's see whether we have enough colors. So what I'm going to do is because this is a porcupine, we are going to make lines, okay? So see, I'm going to make lines like this. We are going to spread out the lines. We are not putting the lines in one place. We are going to spread them out. This is going to be a very colorful porcupine. I'm sure you wouldn't, you wouldn't have seen such a colorful porcupine in your life. There, is there too much water? No, water is not dripping. See that the water is not uh, dripping much. So I made lines like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tickle orange and wake orange up okay one color at a time so because uh usually okay let's wash our brushes each time even if you're going um in this rainbow order okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wash my brush see how i wash my brush i'm going to take my brush and i'm going to um Take the brush all the way down to the bottom of my, the container that has water, okay? And I'm going to sweep. I'm going to pretend that I'm sweeping the floor of the, uh, this container, okay? So when I do the sweeping motion, when you sweep um, the, br um, if this is the broom, the broom should be touching the floor right so i'm going up and down a few times and then once i'm done i'm going to wipe the excess water off if there is too much water you can wipe it on the paper towel okay now i'm going to swirl my brush in orange i'm tickling orange to wake it up got it I'm going to make lines so and again check whether you're holding the brush the right way okay on the handle not on the danger zone and I'm going to make some lines in between the in between these uh, yellow uh, lines okay so next again we need to wash so i'm going to sweep i'm not doing this i'm just sweeping lightly because this brush is really delicate so we don't want to spoil the um the hair the hair i already lost one hair of my brush here so i need to be really careful i'm like i swept a few times and then i'm going to wipe it on the rim of my container wipe it on the 
paper towel and then I'm going to use the next color so before I start using because the color is still um, the color is still sleepy I'm going to wake it up okay guys can you guys see my colors yeah so a few swirls and then I'm going to again check whether you guys are holding the brush in the right way okay so in between I don't want all the colors to be in the same spot I'm, I'm going to spread the colors it's like it should be spread out like uh, sprinkles on your ice cream or your cupcake okay Check whether you're holding your brush the right way, my friend. So all the way to the outside of the paper, see, all the corners, you can go to the outside, the edge of the paper. So I'm happy with the red. Now I'm going to wash sweep the floor of the container with the water wipe it on the rim wipe it on the paper towel i'm going to the next color i'm going to take purple again check whether you're holding your brush in the right way not on the danger part and spread the colors just like you are throwing sprinkles on this okay now wash your brush so in case i'm going too fast what you guys can do is you can pause the video and then uh catch up with me and then you can unpause it okay so now i woke up blue same thing when i'm tickling i'm not i'm trying to keep my palette so clean i don't want the paint to go out so that's why i'm just staying in here spread them out so once the color runs out then you can wash your brush and then move on to the next color always check in between that you're holding the brush in the right way okay I'm going to wash my brush and we're going to the last color for today which is green tickle the green for a few minutes not minute maybe a few seconds and then a colorful porcupine or should we call it hedgehog because it's super cute porcupines are not that cute looking right but hedgehogs are super cute maybe it is a hedgehog okay so we are done with the painting now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to wash our brush sweep the floor of your container so see my the water is not that messy because i was not taking too much water did i waste any paint no so after you're done, wipe it uh, on the rim. So hold it like that. Just wipe it down. And then keep it in the, the bristles. Just keep it pointy. Okay. So now it looks as good as new now. Right. 
I'm going to place this back here. And then this, don't close it immediately because it is still wet. So leave it out for a few minutes to dry. Maybe I'll put it aside here. And then this uh, also, you cannot put it back right now because it is still wet. Okay. Oh, we forgot to write our name and our room number. Do you guys know how to write your name by now? Did you have practice writing your name last week? Right? So, usually in Miss Dugan's class, like the second day, everybody knows how to write their name. So, I assume you guys um, by now know how to. You are all in Miss Dugan's class, right? I'm sure you guys by now know how to write your name. So, I'm writing my name and then TK. If you don't know still, get help from your mom or dad or your brother or sister okay so when you're done like i said before what you're going to do is like last week you're going to take a picture of this you can place it on the table take a picture and email me that okay i'll put the email address at the end of the video hope you guys had fun painting with me and hope you guys know now the name of all the rainbow colors and till we meet next time bye bye